year, hopefully next year. However, uh, maybe let's see what happens this pool and in the other pool will be to see if the top six Mr. Gunplays because we all see, we all love seeing the best players lose, don't yeah. we? I that, don't. Well, <laughs> that, that's a way to put it. What I like, what I like to frame it as is more like cheering for the underdog. Exactly. That's what I like to see. But right now, I think we are going to start with our next match. We are going to have Giovanni against Romeo Santos. Mm -hmm. uh, we've seen that a lot of times already. I mean, a close bar is a classic nowadays. So, seeing another uh, Steve versus Cloud matchup is kind of intriguing. I'm excited to see it, definitely. I love how uh, Giovanni jump on a block to get rid of it like if it was Super Mario like jumping on a you know a block yeah, a square a question mark block or a bridge yeah. block or that was really funny <laughs> but okay right now in this game I really have no expectations how about you guys I actually haven't seen Romeo Santos play at all like I just in general didn't see him at all okay <laughs> but I've played against Giovanni Giovanni knows what he's doing, but I feel like sometimes he's just too slow with his reactions. But against, uh, I, and specifically against Steve, I think you have to be kind of on point on what you're actually doing because like, okay, well, I mean, challenge. you can also do that. Yes. Mm -hmm. <laughs> okay. well, I can have yes, with the wooden stick. Yeah, he's not wood, I think. Whoa. Wrong side right. for the stock. He just crafted for something else, but I think he still has wood. Yeah, he still has the wood too. He only has dirt and wood right now in his arsenal. And oh. here, the stock goes away. He gets more iron because of the stock loss. So maybe he can get himself some iron to this trap suit. Okay, well. But, like, he, I wouldn't say he's terrible in regard to material. The, the problem uh, is the tools, like the fact that he doesn't even have enough iron to oh. craft iron tools. Uh, he doesn't have any more iron uh, gold either. So probably like he will have to uh, wait for the diamond in order to upgrade it's his over. weapons. Mm -hmm. yeah, I... Whenever that happens, for now oh. we have uh, wooden stick uh, combos. Yeah, but the wooden it's very stick interesting combos, that he yeah. like just keeps being with wood like he could be mining the whole time right now and just get some more materials but no it's, it's too oh, oh nice nice, catch. Really nice reaction from Giovanni it was very nice okay Oh, that's the first time we actually see Giovanni rip off the whole up B and immediately gets punished by it, so maybe he shouldn't do it. But usually you always see up B2 come out instead of only up B1. Oh god, that would scare you without having the camera there. There it is again. I guess the back here. Yeah, this could be the beginning of the Ooh, end for Giovanni's god. Ooh, very that strong angle is throw. really, really bad. Oh, he's he dead? Oh, wow. Yeah, that, that was doomed from the grab. Like, he, he, th there was no way he was going to recover. I like, the, the only way it would have been if he had the limit, but the gauge was literally empty at that point, so no chance. Like, he just shouldn't have air dodged. I think the air dodge was too much, that's why he was too low and couldn't recover from there. He jumped and upbeat and afterwards, he would have been, especially with the platform being, like, the platform layout being like Kalos and Northern Cavern. I think he could have recovered there, but hey, you can't always do the right decisions in the right moment. Yeah, like, yeah. it looked kind of sus to me, like, the kind of recovery he did there. I don't know if he was maybe scared of, like, I mean, Romeo Santos, he's a really good Steve. Like, may, uh, maybe a little bit more, a little, no, no, that's not how you say it, a little bit cheekier than Hunter <laughs> Steve. Like, a little bit more for the tricks, for the game. So, I would understand like, why he would be scared or why he predicted something more aggressive on Romeo Sand on that re on that recovery. But hey, that was game one, now we're on game two. It's two, so now it's two times more exciting. And two times faster combos and faster deaths maybe? Nope, not yet. I thought we were gonna see Romeo do a Bayonetta on the ladder kind of combos. You know, 2023 version. Full limit of the 
And he uses it to recover and get to see uh, Romeo. Finally, Joanne is getting some momentum there, but didn't go for the edge guard on the recovery from Romeo. And actually, now is having trouble finding an entrance. Mm. Oh, wow. The movement from Romeo was so elusive. He didn't need no blocks, no minecarts, not anything to move around. He was just spacing well and mining in on his face, that was pretty cool to see. Uh, Jazz Combo didn't manage to carry him across the stage. And wins the ledge trap scenario. That off smash from Giovanni looked a little suspicious. I think he was... Very greedy, yeah. yeah. Giovanni notices he's getting hit by so many things and at the same time he's not getting any hits back. And he's trying his best to just get a few hits in and take the stock finally, but... Every single attempt is just being countered by a, uh, uh, by what's his name again, Romeo Santos? Yeah, yes. Romeo Santos. <laughs> by the way, uh, I want to know your input, both from a top player from around the world and a casual player and caster from like your small and beautiful region, Costa Rica. What did you guys know about these two players before Cumbre, if you knew anything? I didn't know anything. I didn't know anything. Nothing? Okay, that's what I wanted to hear. You know <laughs> what I wanted to hear? No problem, Oreo. Both well, I'm giving some input out that's, here. That's what I wanted to hear because yeah. now I can talk about them. From yeah. Romeo Santos, I can tell you that he is right now number uh, El Salvador number one. I'm doubtful number one. Okay. According to what I've been told right now. And Giovanni is, I think if I'm not mistaken, Type or in a similar position as Vio fighting for Nicaragua's first place, by the way. And we didn't. <laughs> that was really funny, like the way he had to take with the block on the underside for Bowser B. Yeah. Uh, oh, yes, I was saying from Giovanni. Oh, oh, nice. wait, okay, nice. no. Nice. I have to pay attention nice. to that. Oh, I knew it. <laughs> that was a. No. Okay. Tech. Now what? Re 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 a whole lot of blocks in yeah. 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 That man yeah. is going to seal the deal. This is the second game from uh, the male. Yeah, Ivani has to one up his game in order to adapt to this team. This is not looking like Kako Spargo. The the problem that I'm seeing here is Giovanni is trying to just play his own game instead of adapting to their game plan. Right. And like, that is the biggest problem with players playing in Steve. Steve does play a different game and you have to adapt to it. You can't just play a normal kind of game against them. Which is why like so many people just get so annoyed. But yeah, with Clap specifically, you can just do what your opponent is doing and try to stuff them out as much as you can. Ani needs to just, like look how he can actually get hits in while also not always getting countered, and that's like the biggest issue right now. Whenever he gets hit, he's still getting hit from Steve. Right. And actually, Romeo is not even taking full potential of uh, Steve's gameplay. Uh, he's making a lot of uh, approaches and offensive plays with uh, the wooden tools. Instead of mining to a greater distance earlier, you get better damage out of this bad way. Mm -hmm. I still wonder about these uppy ones. I, I've never seen those being used like this. <laughs> oh, whoa, whoa! What the hell? <laughs> Wait, wasn't he there with the uppy? Up smash, sorry? Yeah, it was an up smash cancel because the block under him. Disappeared oh, and yeah, just it was a bird block, oh. and it was the edge of uh, the limit where she could play block. So it disappeared really quickly. But it was a good amount of damage. Well, to, oh, yeah, I was worried about that. Good. Deal, but Giovanni recovered really uh, well using the ledge block. Well, yeah, right. that combo seemed amazing to me. I like, and the up smash. I was kind of confused because I thought it would kill, but his reaction to the falling of the block was so natural and so fast, I thought it was part of the combo. Uh, okay, now we're in the dead zone, the 
stealing stock zone, yep, 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 and yep. now it's the whipping zone, because that will be the death of Jubani stocks. And now he's dead again. Moving on, just kidding. <laughs> see, <laughs> that, 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 oh. but, yeah, so you can see in Steve Symmetry, he already has the diamond, but probably like he's going to try and do as much damage as he can while he has the stock, and then craft the diamond tools on the second stock. That's why, like, a gameplay like that I think makes sense. And yeah. right now, like, not even done with the stock and already has 61% advantage. And I'm not even sure <laughs> that's going to be all. He doesn't even have a, uh, have a, what's it called? I don't actually know what upper uses, but he just didn't have it. And the axe? Spamming it. Oh yeah, it's an axe, right. Wow, fake gamer. Honestly. You don't play Minecraft? I never played Minecraft. You've before. never played Minecraft? Yeah. Why? We, we have to do a fake Minecraft server. Ooh, that was nice. What I'm noticing from Giovanni a lot is his limit usage is immediate. He always wants oh, to use it. That's and that's true. like a big problem with, in general, Cloud players. Cloud players don't use the benefits they get from limit. The scare factor, the, the, the stat buffs, everything around the limit is so much better by just using it passively instead of actively using the moves all the time. I think you can see it from Spargo a lot. Like Spargo likes to edge guard a lot. Which is also because wow, <laughs> he only just survived that because of the block. Nice. That yeah. Giovanni taking the advantage of the stocks and probably will try and do approaches in order to uh, widen the gap with the percentage. Uh, you see Romeo building the wall. He doesn't want to get thrown up. Well, yeah, we have four minutes left on the clock of this game. Maybe, maybe, just maybe, Giovanni can apply all the things Tarek has said and maybe. Maybe accidentally coach we him across the rooms on his Twitter <laughs> so loud voice. Maybe that was nice. We can Very maybe bring nice. this one back. But 50, like no, 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 no. Not, not, not a difference to Steve. What? Okay, I thought he was going to go for the damage there. <laughs> okay, there a lot of puppies. Uh oh. Uh, golden combo. We might be seen. Dead now, okay, he has his limit. Diamond is there. How is he gonna you use have to it? Look out. Who is he gonna benefit? Ooh, That's you, the Nyra Blood. That's the down smash. smash. Oh, oh that's he's not dead. dead. Okay. And no limit. It just disappears, expires, runs out by doing nothing. Okay. He's tweaking the minecart. And. Up smash? Oh. Oh my goodness, you have to look out right now because Diamond will kill you from any point of the stage. Oh, but this dash tech with Bat the Eye can definitely kill you really early. Oh! There it is! That's the end of the set. Yeah. Um, one, one wrong call out and immediately get punished for it. Diamond has time. Boom! You're out. Well, that's what we saw now. That's a clean trio from Romeo Santos. How? Huh? No, no, it's free. Oh. No, it's free. It's free. Yeah. Yes. yeah. Wait. Yeah, it hasn't taken a game. No. Yeah. No. Yeah, 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 you yeah. see, they're working Romeo out. So. <laughs> like, I, 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 I can see, I can see where the confusion comes from because he was winning during a lot of the game, but at the end, uh, Steve, Steve. Yes. Has Romeo lost any sets so far? He's Probably not. Who? Cool. So this is his third win. Uh, yeah. Wow. All right. And now he won Frio against Giovanni. Well, he only has oh. one set left, and that's against Mr. Mr. E. e. I really. Wait, so has. Wait, who 